Jesus, dude. 35 pounds, what's going on there? Well, that ain't right. officially smoked again I was sitting at the light and I tried to bump in you know just like a normal driver on the road and now she's gone she, she died a slow death but it's all right I got some friends coming to get me to tow me home and it is what it is all right well stand by oh frick guys that is transmission fluid this is the car on the the intersection I was just trying to get on the brake and bump into the light like any other driver and uh, all my transmission fluids on the ground now oh yeah that's a no bueno type situation right there hey it's the leaf blower kid yeah. <laughs> thanks guys appreciate it Boom, huh? luckily I wasn't far right yeah <laughs> thanks guys this is always a ride of shame getting towed home in your race car. Gosh dang it. Hate when that happens. Okay, let's see it. Oh yeah. There's the culprit. That'll do it. Yeah, Transmission cooler line. These are the original AN lines that go all the way back to the cooler. I think it's about time they get replaced. What do you think? What do you guys think? Should we replace them? It's an easy deal. What do, you, what do you say you want to do to your leaf blower? Put a turbo and nitrous on it. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about right there. Make it happen. Okay, well after last night's adventure, I'm going to pull the transmission out of this thing for probably the 30th time. We're going to send it off to FTI so that they can go through it. Let's get this thing in the air. I'm going to time it for you guys because I feel like I've gotten really fast at doing this. We'll see how long it takes me. <laughs> Try to go quickly, but be safe. I will know. I should have chains on this jack or this trans jack, but making do with what I got. It's time to get this transmission back to FTI. I don't think my gear vendor oil is supposed to be looking this dark because it goes in clear. That means it's definitely a smoke did. You're done. People always commenting, "Oh, Parker, your wiring is terrible." My uncle's Camaro from. 1983 had a way sicker wiring job that he did back in the 90s. Well, look at me now. 
We got a freaking Rachem wiring harness from Race Wire Solutions with the firewall connectors. It's all gonna be cut to length and absolutely sick and clean. And I am so pumped to go in in this project. I love wiring and quit talking crap y'all because hey, this thing's come a long way and you can't argue that. Jesus, dude. 35 pounds? What's going on there? That explains it. Well, that ain't right. I'm only commanding 10. Okay, so we have a dome pressure issue. It wasn't making any dome. So it was just making wastegate pressure, which 35 pounds. That shouldn't... That's a lot. All right, so I did replace the dome pressure sensor recently and ran new wiring, so it's probably something to do with the wiring. Well, I'll tell you the problem right here, boys. You don't have your dome pressure sensor plugged in. You're gonna make 35 pounds of boost, so thankfully we didn't hurt this motor running on pump gas, but uh, let's get her loaded up, head to the Christmas tree drags. Get this plugged in right now. There is well over 30 drivers racing tonight. If you all don't know what the Christmas tree drags are, you have to have a six foot Christmas tree that is lit up while you make your pass racing the other guy. So it's an exciting night. Everyone gets super hype about it. It's always around Christmas time. We got El Toro going up for some testing. The Blazer here looking absolutely lit. We got Leroy competing, Mullet, all kinds of cars. Kyle 240, Kevin KSR. Kyle. Dude, Dr. Pepper's looking lit over here. She looks good. Yeah, she is. She's you guys have red LEDs in here. You think she's going to hold on at 160? I would have to hope so, or else I'm going to have to run oh, down. Did you, did you say that's not going anywhere after you ratcheted it? It's not going anywhere. <laughs> okay. Got the tune up in her. We're going to be commanding 15 pounds of boost at about a one and a half seconds into the run. And uh, I feel pretty good about that. We're going to be leaving pretty soft. We're going to be leaving on about 10 pounds of boost at about 3,800 RPM. So I know the car leaves on that, especially on this 275 tire. I'm excited to get it back out there, see what she can do. Yeah. First round, let's go. Take me out. All right, let's do this. Thanks, brother. Is that a freaking TV screen on your dash? You watch play. movies on that thing? Fruit Ninja, everything, <laughs> I love it, see you out there, buddy. Good luck. Good luck, man. You're all right, Brett. What's up? I'm gonna make you an offer right now. You gotta <laughs> take it or leave it. All right. Your car for my car and 50 grand cash. Ooh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> not gonna happen. <laughs> you guys don't know Brett. He's the one who went to the finals with Garrett. He's got an absolutely beautiful hey, car. Go one day my car will look like that. Good luck, man. Thanks. Kyle, what are you getting your dialed in at, brother? Getting her dialed in, brother. Going up to 20, back down to 18. Yeah, I got it. I got this is precision tire filling here. Dude, you got the glow in the dark yeah, rigs? Yeah, we got it. There it is, 18. Oh, really? So this thing red 20 and that red 18. Yeah, that's why I said. You got to trust your instruments.
place. We absolutely treat him. Did you see that? I mean, I got way out in front of him. So 17.5 on the tree. He was 3.58 and then, you know, 60 foot. I had him through the eighth mile and by then I was already out of it because it was just breaking up like crazy. So we, uh, we lost by half a second, you know, but it is what it is. We're out here having fun. The car is a little bit untested. And uh, we'll get it right. We got about a month and a half before sick week before we got to win a trophy. I'm so desperate. Like, I want one so bad this year. So, it's we'll all right. It. We'll pull the data log. We'll see what's going on. And All right. Let's do this. That's an over 100 mile an hour due to your tree right there. She's standing straight up. It got that Viagra. Dude, I got to say, first eighth mile, absolutely smoked you. And you came around the last, like, 100 feet. That's all right, though. Went right around me. What happened on the tree? Were you taking a nap? Uh, I, turned, I turned the launch <laughs> RPM off. It actually. happened really quickly. It happened <laughs> really quick. Down. <laughs> it it happens awesome, quick, man. dude. So fun. Great Congrats. Do you, you know who you're racing next? Actually, I had a problem with the catch can. So what do you mean? I gave uh, bottom the catch can started a leak, so I put oil all underneath the car. Yeah. So I cleaned it up. It's still leaking. So I just don't want to put any oil out there. We're gonna ban any catch can. Oh. What'd you get no, for me? this is presented to you. We already presented it on TV because you had no lights on your car, so you... Kyle had one job. It wasn't my fault. I was, I was at all hectic. That's the first trophy I've ever won in my life. Yep, it's a Grinch award. <laughs> you have I won other it. trophies. Okay, fam, I'm sitting here on Christmas Eve looking at my data log from the Christmas tree race, and I figured it out. It's a stupid mistake, but basically I was commanding the holly that anytime it made more than 15 pounds of dome pressure to revert it to wastegate. So basically, I went from making, you know, 15, 20 pounds of boost to none about two seconds into the run because that's when it saw the dome pressure sensor spike. So these little things we're learning, the car is seem to be running fine doesn't seem to be hurt. We are gonna get a fresh set of plugs in it, but I'll turn around and show you guys. All right, so here's the log from the run. And uh, basically, right off the rip, we're sitting on the brake here. Leave on around 10 pounds. Let's see my dry shot speed. Yep, right there, boom. And we're climbing, boost is climbing to about 15. Our dome pressure is our dome pressure targeted is 12.8. We were making 12 pounds of dome at 15 PSI. And then what happens is it sees 15 PSI on the dome pressure. It instantly starts dropping boost. And I'll show you where that's at in the tune. If you come back to the tune here in the boost section, Basically, these safeties are set up so that you don't blow your car up. So when dome pressure is above 15 PSI, it reverts to wastegate. If the boost safety is set at 20 pounds for you know the intake, it'll revert to wastegate. So it saw this and immediately stopped making boost. So then we fell on our face and aborted the run so then we aborted the run and fell on our face and lost the race first round, but I'd rather learn these things now. And you know, this is how we learn by making mistakes and I'm doing them on my own with a little bit of help from all the guys. And uh, it's just part of the learning experience. You know, you get so fired up, you're working on your car all day, every day. You finally go to the track and you make stupid mistakes, but those stupid mistakes don't happen next time. And so that's why going to the track is so important over and over and over. As a fellow car guy, I know it's super easy to forget to take care of yourself, especially when you're at the track. We're all drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. This toothbrush is only $39. It's a great electric toothbrush. That's what I use every day. Normally they're $59, but if you click the link in the description below or use my coupon code QDNASK, you can get this toothbrush for only 39 bucks. Buy one for yourself, your girlfriend, whoever. They are an awesome toothbrush. It's basically the same thing as a Sonicare except a tenth of the price. So go get one. They send you a new brush at every three months so you don't have to worry about it. It's a great deal.